wasn't very obvious that I was pregnant. Insanely unmotivated. I just started getting rid of everything. My name is Jessica Johnson and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna give you a week by week breakdown of the symptoms that I experienced during my first trimester. While I'm thinking about it, if you could go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can get more content just like this. So let's start from the beginning. Now, when we were trying to conceive and I was constantly hoping that I was pregnant, I always thought to myself, you know what? When I'm pregnant, I'm just gonna know. I'm sitting here symptom spotting, trying to figure out if I'm pregnant and I know when it happens that I'm just like gonna know. It's gonna be super obvious. Like I literally would tell myself that all the time. Guess what? For me, I was wrong. It wasn't very obvious that I was pregnant. In TV shows, they always depict that the woman starts feeling sick and that she's throwing up and that's like her very first symptom. Nope, it was not the case for me and it was pretty much not the case throughout my entire first trimester. It might be true for some people, but it was not for me. So believe it or not, one of my very first symptoms of pregnancy was actually insomnia. This is one of my very first symptoms before I really found out that I was pregnant. And I was like, this is weird and super abnormal for me. My boobs were also still sore and I was late on my period. So both of those things were a little bit odd. And my favorite food in the entire world is steak. And we made steak that week and I remember thinking, Huh, it just wasn't as satisfying as it normally is for me. Okay, I knew I was pregnant by this point. All I wanted to eat was like pasta and pizza and literally bought like cans of SpaghettiOs and <laughs> beefaroni. But again, I never got sick. It was just more I avoided certain foods because nothing really sounded good except for these particular items. I was bloated and I was insanely unmotivated and a part of that could have been like the excitement of finding out you're pregnant and it's like all you can think about and it's all consuming and you're just looking up all the things but i watched a video that another youtuber did and i felt so validated when she said she felt insanely unmotivated during this week and i was like me too <laughs> That is when that feeling of having to pee all the time really kicked in. And I started to get warm really easily. So if I was doing stuff like around the house or whatever, I'd be like, babe, it is so hot in here. Can we please like turn the air on, open a window. I don't know what we have to do, but it's hot. I was still dealing with food aversions. I was really, really tired. Sometimes I would sleep for like hours in the middle of the day. And this is when I also noticed that if I was talking for long periods of time, like right now, I would run out of breath really easily. I was bloated, I had food aversions, and I started getting constipated. Now a part of that is because I really just did not want any vegetables. It just did not sound good to me at all. Metamucil was my friend and is still my friend. All those things still. I really wanted like sour stuff. So my husband literally went out and bought me sour Skittles, like sour patch. And I still didn't really want vegetables. But praise the Lord, I still was not sick. I was waiting for it to happen. And I was like, I'm fine. Really the only major change that I noticed was I was just feeling really full all the time and I would get like full faster after I ate, probably because of the constipation. And I was still like, mm, on vegetables. Insomnia was a big thing for me, but what's annoying is that I would be really tired earlier in the day. But then when it was actually time to sleep at night, I was like, I can't sleep. I felt like I was peeing all night long. My boobs were also still getting more and more sore and I was getting tired even earlier in the evenings. Also a mixture of weeks 10 and 11. I definitely noticed that if I let myself get too hungry, I would feel really weird. I wouldn't necessarily think that I'm going to barf, but it made me feel really weird. I did not feel good, maybe a little nauseous, but not to the point where I was like ready to like bleh. 
I'll run out of breath just trying to talk. I'd be super gassy. I had to pee all night long. And right around this week is when all of a sudden it really started to hit me. I have a baby on the way. So even the sight of clutter in my house, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just started getting rid of everything. I just started cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and literally just like donating everything I owned. I am, I'm currently still going through that. Apparently that's called nesting. My sex drive also really increased during week 11 too and onwards. For me, they kind of run together because this is the only one I didn't like take detailed notes on. But I can tell you for sure that I started to get really tired like in the middle of the day around 1.30 to 3 o'clock. I always felt like I felt my weirdest in the evenings. Insomnia was still a thing for me. The most frustrating part is that I was still having to use the bathroom a lot at night and I would have trouble falling back asleep. Working out was getting a little bit harder. I would be running out of breath quicker when doing easy workouts. And I know it's not really a symptom, but I think I just kind of underestimated like just the mental strength it was gonna take just watching your body change pretty quickly. I'm super excited about the blessing in my belly, but there's a very real aspect of learning to appreciate your new body. Anyways, that is my first trimester recap. I hope this video has been helpful to some of you out there. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.